Hello guys, welcome to this week's Five Facts Friday and today it's all about the Budwing Stick Insect. Budwing Stick Insects in the wild come from Thailand. As their name suggests, Budwing Stick Insects have tiny little wing areas. They certainly can't fly. They've got wing buds, but what they can do is flash them and vibrate them, showing their red underside, which can startle and help to sort of worry predators that might attack them, startle them and scare them away. Like an awful lot of the species of stick insects we keep in captivity, the main food plant we feed them here in the UK is actually bramble. Have a look at this, hold on. This is bramble. Bramble, blackberry bushes, lots of different species but if you know what a blackberry bush is, that's safe to feed to your stick insect. And it's available all year round. It survives the frost and the snow. They sometimes eat hawthorn. Look at this one. And they sometimes eat hazel. Hazel's great. It doesn't have any prickles. So it's a great thing to pick and feed to your stick insects. Safer for you for sure. But hawthorn and hazel, they both, they're deciduous trees. They lose their leaves in the winter. So here in the UK, various species of bramble, are the key food source for most of our stick insects. One thing to watch out for, look at this, oh, he's gone. I was gonna show you a little spider. When you're taking these food plants from the wild, especially if you've got tiny baby stick insects, there could be spiders and things in there that'll eat your stick insects. The budwing stick insect makes a fantastic pet. It's not giant, it's not huge, it's not prickly, but it's not small and kind of weedy and pathetic for children. You need something a little bit robust for sure. These guys are fully grown at around 5 inches or 12 centimetres long. Like many, many species of stick insect, in captivity and in the wild, they're parthenogenetic. That means in some species of stick insects, no male has ever been found. Now the budwing, you can find males in the wild, but in culture, in captivity, there are no males. They're all females. They lay fertile eggs, which are basically genetic replicas of themselves. They never need to breed. They never need to mate. Generation after generation after generation, all females, all laying fertile eggs, which all hatch out just fine. Isn't nature weird and amazing? That's why we love it. You never stop learning. I hope you enjoyed Five Packs Friday about our wonderful budwing stick insects. Don't forget, like and subscribe.